The second assault had begun. The plan was a simple one. The SHC were to attack from the sea and secure the three obstacles. Here, here, and here. This would allow the heavy stuff to get through, ready for phase two. However, the Teddy's Battlemaster, the mysterious Von Cripplespeck, was waiting with his giant gun of doom, waiting to blow them back into history. The Teddies were ready to defend, but time wasn't on their side. It all hinged on one thing. Could Von Cripplespeck sink the SHC ship, or would the Squirrel attack force break through and thwart him? With the second assault finally over, the battle moved inland. Von Cripplespeck's forces making a tactical retreat to a disused prison known as the Fortress. The Teddies had secured one half of the structure, and the SHC the other, a stalemate. Only one thing here could assure victory. Demoralize the enemy by capturing their precious colors, their flag. The flags were deep inside each half. In order to secure victory, each would need to be brought intact to the pickup point. There to be filmed and broadcast to all the enemy troops. It was a long shot and unlikely to work, but in war, anything goes. Despite fighting to the death and winning many battles, the Teddies were not winning the war. Forced finally to retreat to his clifftop castle stronghold, Von Cripplespeck knew that only one thing could save them from defeat, the machine. History has told us of its use, but then no one knew for sure. The SHC had sent in a crack assault squad. Their mission, to link up the power lines to their generator, restart the cable car, and get a trooper inside to overcharge and destroy the machine. The Teddies, well, History also tells us they'd forgotten to pack the batteries. They needed to link up the power lines, then seal the connection somehow. The race was on. Years later, the eternal war betwixt Teddies and Squirrel continued, but now on a new and more vicious front. The machine Teddies had arrived, pouring through Von Cripplespeck's new machine. The SHC were driven back to the point of defeat with only one last thread of victory. The legend of a base buried under the ice and said to contain a secret knowledge. It was rumored to be a map showing the location of an ancient weapon that once belonged to the long dead Panther King. Both Teddies and SHC now wanted this map but there was a problem. The map was not whole. The Teddies had found one half, and the SHC the other. The mission was a simple one. Steal the enemy's map fragment and take it to the uplink device to decode the map from orbit. Only then could the location of this weapon be revealed and victory assured. With the two halves of the map now reunited, the long-lost resting place of the Thing had finally been located. An abandoned mining outpost, way up the Big Rim. However, the secret didn't stay safe very long, particularly when it appeared on the front cover of Fur Only. It was now simply a case of who got there first. Unfortunately, Von Cripplespack made an immediate wrong turn, ending up, due to the fact the map was printed upside down, in precisely the right place. As the Teddy's commander prepared to excavate the thing, the SHC had finally realized their mistake and headed full pelt towards the outpost. They must destroy the thing before it, whatever it was, destroyed them. Both sides realized the key to victory lay within the three towers. Reactivate them to reroute and deactivate the enemy shielding 
then bring their firepower to bear and blow the other back to oblivion. Either SHC spawner or the Teddy's excavation. Things hadn't quite turned out as expected for either side, as it was revealed that the thing wasn't a weapon after all. It was a tomb. The Panther King had lain at rest for 200 years, frozen in his icy prison. Before the SHC could react, the body was gone, stolen. Intelligence told them where their ancient enemy had been taken, the Teddy's homeworld, also known as Dune. It was a race against time. If the Teddies managed to revive their dormant leader, then a new reign of terror would begin. But if the small SHC assault force could get there first, all they needed to do was break through the Teddies' defense gates. Here, here, and here. They could be broken by either destroying the locking mechanism or hacking it. Once into the Teddy's base, all hell would break loose. This time, they had to be sure. The heart. They must destroy the heart. Ancient beyond imagining. The oldest arena of combat and glory. The place where the mighty come to play. The place of reckoning for all warriors. The legendary hole that was known only by one name. The ditch. The rules were simple. Place your flag in all the towers. When you have all the towers flying your banner, you are victorious and may take your place among the gods. Then and only then. The Teddy's military ship Spamono was an exploration vessel which had mysteriously disappeared on its maiden voyage up the Big Rim. That was a hundred years ago. Now, it has returned, containing who knows what dark secrets. The plan on both sides was to power her up whilst repelling all borders. The Allied half proved no problem to power. It was getting the energy sphere into the enemy territory, however, that had proved the challenge. As predicted, the death toll had been significant. Performing in a fourth